Hello, hello. This is just a very quick video on the Arduino Nano RP2040 and particularly on how to get around problems when deploying firmware from the Arduino IDE to the board on a Linux-based operating system. I will also very quickly show you how to install or just walk through it but as said, the main focus is on the error message, which I just showed you before. So, normally, of course, you start out here in the boards manager and you install the embed nano package. You see here version 2.1.0. Then you can select the Arduino Nano and you can try to run Blink. And if everything is successful, you get this message. However, sometimes, instead, you get a message, an error occurred while uploading the sketch. And if this happens, the problem almost always is related to the UDEF system. In principle, the UDEF system is like a regulator which decides how the Linux operating system has to handle the the various devices which are connected and when they connect and disconnect. And to solve this problem, you see here, there is a script which is called postinstall.sh and you see here that it echoes a set of additional rules into the UDEF rule system. And so, if you have this problem, you simply need to run this script as you see here, you need to give it pseudo writes and normally you disconnect, you reconnect and then you can run the program. And the main challenge here is finding the correct path. And what I can tell you is, you see here, inside of your personal home directory, you see here we've got this folder .arduino15. And then we go here into the hardware folder and there we should normally find an embed nano package. And then you basically just need to append the version number and then you can already run the script like so. As said, all of this is not rocket science. And to show once again that I'm not lying, you see here, I click go. And it's connecting, you see, and it runs perfectly. And by the way, in case you wonder why I get so much output, you see here, show verbose output during compilation and upload, and then you get more information on what happens in the background. And finally, something which tripped me up a little bit. The Blink LED on the Arduino RP2040 is the orange one on the left hand side of the connector, which you see actively blinking here in this little extra clip. And alas, that is it. If you follow these steps, normally now everything should work on your machine without any problems. Well, what can I say? The clip was so short that it doesn't even make sense to beg for a subscription. But if you liked what you saw, please like and subscribe. And thank you very much. Bye bye.